Okay, post trib moment number 15. Another little thing that the little game that these people like to play. Today I want to talk about Acts 14.22. This is one of the numerous New Testament mentions of the word tribulation. And I encourage anyone who believes in the pre-tribulation rapture to just look up all 22 times that the word tribulation is used in the New Testament. And if you can walk away and still believe in the pre-trib rapture after reading all 22 of those, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, as I've stated before, the term the Great Tribulation, let me just show you here. Let me go up here to the search area. The Great Tribulation, which these guys like to talk about. Okay. Only twice does the word Great Tribulation show up. And there you have, there's no the here, and there's no the there. Okay. It's not in there. And you say, what about the Tribulation? Well, let's go up here and say the Tribulation. In Tribulation your tribulation, all tribulation, when tribulation, great tribulation, immediately after the tribulation of those days. Okay, so there you have the, but it's not a title. This is not a title. It's the tribulation. This is referring to the bad things that are happening in those days. What are those days a reference to? The days are a reference to the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah, let's go up here. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is Jacob? Jacob is, if you look at the name there, Jacob in the Old Testament, he was also called Israel. So it's a time of Israel's trouble there, Jacob's trouble. That's the real title for it. But going back down to here, Mark 13, 24, that tribulation, uh, after that tribulation, again, it's a reference to what's going on, and it's not a title. Have tribulation, much tribulation, tribulation and anguish. Shall tribulation, our tribulation, in tribulation, end tribulation. Great tribulation. These are they which came out of great tribulation. Again, it's a, it's a description and not a title of that time period. False prophets like this use it as a title all the time. And he's saying, you know, let's look at Acts chapter 14, verse 22. You know, and he says here, 1422, confirming the souls of disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we, through much tribulation, we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Romans chapter 14. Let's look at verse 17, where it said about entering into the kingdom of God. Down here it talks about through much, through much tribulation we shall enter or enter into the kingdom of God. Romans 14:17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is not the same as the millennial kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Okay, there are some references that do state that, but what's going on down here in Acts chapter 14:22? is talking about spiritual fellowship with the Lord. Righteousness, peace, and joy. That's the kingdom of God that's being referred to down in here. In this life, you will have tribulation. Okay? That doesn't mean that you will go through a time period, the time period of Jacob's trouble. I'm sorry, it doesn't mean that. I know you want to suffer, and I know you want to prove how good a Christian you are, and all that other stuff, but it doesn't teach that. Okay, this, this is just another lie, but let's continue here. But here's one of them. In Acts 14.22, the Bible reads, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. So yet again, the Bible's talking about believers going through much tribulation, not escaping tribulation, not being spared from tribulation, and again, tribulation is not God's wrath. The Bible says, For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. But over and over again in the New Testament, he talks about believers going through tribulation. And here it even says that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. 
He didn't say you'll be raptured out before the tribulation. Uh, you see what he did? Before the tribulation. He's again using this false term of the tribulation to refer to the time period that's coming. The Bible does not use it. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. This man right here is a false prophet. Yes, you will have tribulation in this life. Of course you will as a Christian. But it doesn't come from God. It comes from the lost world. Read Revelation. Revelation chapter 6, which he professes to you know, say that it's for the body of Christ. It's the Lord Jesus Christ opening the seals. How can the Lord Jesus Christ open the seals on his own body? How can he pour out judgment and wrath on his own body? It doesn't make any sense. Because there's no such verse in the Bible. But he did say that we would, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Acts 14.22. Yeah. Don't follow this man. This man is a false prophet. 